Put the big things in first. Put the convention tickets in first. Put being field vice president in first. Put the dreams, the goal statements, the ladder in first. And they'll happen. And you'll find space for the other things. But if you put out everything else first, Market America will never happen. You'll never be a field vice president. You'll never have the freedom. The dreams will never happen. And all it is is a matter of what you put in first in your life. How many people are going to make Market America first and your dreams first? I hope today you experience what I experienced over and over again as I developed this business. It's called a magic moment. What is a magic moment? It's that point in life where the, where the future is uncertain. You really don't know what's going to happen. You don't know that you're going to make it. You have a decision to make about what you're going to do, and you're not sure. And you certainly don't know the outcome, so you hesitate. Okay? And you say, if only I knew if it was going to happen. Well, a magic moment is when someone decides, and that billionth of a volt snaps across their cerebral cortex, and they get inspired and say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a decision. I'm going to make it happen. And as a result of their decision and their commitment, and that billionth of a volt making them realize that I can do it, they determine the future, you see. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for many, many magic moments. I've told the stories about them many times. You'll have them too in your own life. Magic moments. I want to tell you today, tonight, being here with you is a magic moment for me. Every time we come together, I never know if you'll come back. Because I know what you have to do. You have to go out in your own life, in your own town, your own job, around your own people, and deal with situations and problems. And I don't know if you'll lose your dream or if you'll have that magic moment to move on to the next level and to lead by example and to change your life and other people's lives. But when you come back here and bring your hopes and your dreams again back here, when you're just a volunteer, and it's all about what you believe and feel. This is a magic moment. And this is a magic moment tonight. And we can change the world together. People say, that's highfalutin thinking. You're crazy. What do you mean we can change the world? It's just a business. We're just a bunch of people. I believe that this concept is so power, powerful and so empowering that it can change the world. Because when two get 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 two. And it's not confined to a country, because we're in cyberspace, and there is no boundaries. And two get two, get two, get two, get two. An American is sponsoring a Chinese, a Chinese, a Korean, a Korean, an American. And we all are doing business together and making money together. It's bigger than a government. It's bigger than any ideology. What it's about is our collective buying power and collective spirit and entrepreneurism working together to create a better world. You can't change the world by making rules, okay, or by politics, or by demagoguery. But you can change the world through economics, because when people have economic hope and they're succeeding together, it changes everything. It changes everything for countries, for people, and we become one community, one world. And I believe that that's what we're doing here together. Market America is a global community, a global opportunity, and individuals all around the world can benefit by working together. To get 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 to. And if a government tells me to be against somebody, I'm not going to be against my check. I'm not going to be against my check. Do you know what I mean? And that's what it's really all about. Market America is really the simplest and best thing out there. It's not complicated. It's simple, it's powerful, it utilizes all the technology and all of the powerful things that are on the, the, the cutting edge of life today. But we can make a difference. 
we can make a difference by embracing all those things and collectively and individually going forward to make this happen. It reminds me of a story that I'd like to close with of a prominent citizen who used to walk the beach in a resort town, a famous resort town. And every day this would be his routine in the morning to walk the beach. And one day in his morning stroll, he walked out on the beach and it was covered by starfish. The tide had gone out extremely fast because uh, of the positioning of the moon and mercury tide, and uh, the starfish were stranded. And as he walked down the beach, he saw a young boy off in the distance. He picked up his pace because he saw him doing something. And as he came up upon him, he saw the young boy throwing starfish back into the water. And there was tens of thousands of them. He asked the boy, he said, what are you doing? He says, I'm saving the starfish. He says, how's that going to make a difference? There's 10,000 of them out here. The little boy picked up another one and threw it in. He said, it made a difference to that one. Picked up another one. It made a difference to that one and to that one. And folks, it's really true. We can make a difference one person at a time. Two get two, get two, get two, get two. And we can make a difference. Thank you. God bless you. We'll see you at the top.